Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? It is me, Mr. Four Cap Scalers. So, uh, finally, I got a hold of uh, Evil Boris through my friend John Crow, and finally, he looked into it with his software to see what type of problem and issue there might be with Sekiro Shadow Dies Twice from Software Company and to see why the peak brightness, Lumen's peak brightness on the HDR is not that great. So he did his tests and everything as usual. Uh, he mainly uses a Samsung uh, KS8000, but he has the software to test it properly. And uh, he came to conclusion that Sekiro it's using a different type of tone mapper uh, that's really not even designed for today's HDR like it's designed maybe for like 15 years ago HDR and the uh, tone mapper tone mapping technique they're using it's called uh, Reinhard it's R E I N H A R D Reinhard HDR tone mapping and uh, it's it's free you know anybody can use it any developer can use this technique it is really designed to uh, brighten up the value in 32 bit per channel HDR down that you can see it in 8 bit per channel so basically what it means is that it is a free plugin any developer out there and in this case this is what from software did they just decided probably the last minute hey what would be the best HDR option for us uh, and they probably decide to go with this, the Reinhardt HDR tone mapping. That it's really designed for the 8 bit. You know, it's not designed for 10 bit. Okay, because uh, it even says right here, I can download it right now and use this uh, Reinhardt HDR tone mapping. Okay, it is free, and what it what it will do, it will map the color and brightness value in a 32 bit per channel HDR down to the values that you can see on your 8-bit per channel display okay so basically what they're doing is they're putting the uh, a well uh, I guess if, if you want to call it a fake HDR that's fine you know because they are pretty much doing the same thing what they've done on the uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. It's, you know, putting it in that SDR container, basically. And the tone mapping that's really not designed for today's HDR. You know, it's an old HDR, it's free, you can download it. You know, any developer can use it. I mean, I am, I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at, uh, if I was a developer, and if I wanted to use a cheap HDR, I can use uh, Reinhard HDR tone mapping for the HDR shop. It's not designed, what I'm trying to say to you, this Reinhard HDR, it's not designed for a 10-bit um, today's HDR. It, it's designed for a 8-bit value HDR. That improves the colors a little bit and the brightness, but the peak brightness is very, very, very low. Therefore, you're not going to see any kind of like three-dimensional eye-popping uh, picture quality on your uh, television when you turn the HDR on. Don't matter how much you push that uh, brightness push it all the way to 2000 as you like you're still not going to get any kind of HDR eye popping peak brightness that we're normally accustomed to with games like let's say Forza excuse me Forza Horizon or uh, Ubisoft's games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey or uh, What's the other game that they just did recently, Division 2? Uh, Ubisoft is using a proper tone mapper, and I think they have proved that. Uh, Forza Horizon, uh, Forza, Turn 10, they have shown that they are using uh, Playground Games, uh, Turn 10. They have shown that they know how to use a proper 
tone mapper on the HDR, the mission objective is to make visual and Ubisoft has proved that. Being transported by that and However, these other companies, I have noticed, I want you first to go uh, they're the top struggling top the with that. Uh, this company from software is struggling with that. Uh, red, I mean, Rockstar is struggling with that, uh, which is I don't I don't know why. And uh, and I think this is the problem. I think this is something we should talk about because I would rather not use any HDR at all than use some half-assed HDR, guys. I know the drill. If you don't want to use a proper tone mapping, then don't bother. My advice to these developers, listen, if you don't know or if you can't use a proper software or proper tone mapper to implement on that HDR for the 10-bit televisions, if you can't use a proper tone mapping, then don't bother. Don't bother putting any HDR at all. Why are you even putting the HDR there in the first place? Some of them are putting it there just so that way everyday Joe, everyday Mary can say, hey, look, it has HDR. You know. So there's a lot of fakeness going on out there, dude. And I don't like that, that these companies are doing that. So thanks to Evil Boris for looking into this. He looked into it. He's got the the software to measure it and he came to the conclusion that that's uh, what they're using it's the Reinhard HDR tone mapping it's all here you know and uh, actually there's this one uh, demo where they showed uh, way back in uh, 2002 this is like by Eric Reinhard at uh, 2002 in Utah, University of Utah, where he was showing how to uh, actually implement this uh, HDR. But back then, this was kind of like, you know, a pretty interesting stuff. It was kind of groundbreaking back then. But right now, this is old, man. This is 15, even 15 years, 15 years old uh, technique that's designed for the 8-bit it's not even designed for the 10-bit because remember the 10-bit came later on uh, in 2015 2016 so this is not even designed for the 10-bit uh, so if you want to call it a fake HDR that's fine by me you can call it a fake HDR I mean, uh, I'm okay with that, whatever. Because uh, these companies need to be called out for what they are. You're using a fake HDR. I mean, if you want my honest advice, I would turn off HDR. I would turn it off. If you're going to play Sekiro, just turn it off. I think you're better off just turning that sucker off. I turned it off last night, uh, guys. Looks, I think To me, it looks better when turning it off. It looks actually brighter on the Q8FN. I went to check the Q8FN and I said, oh, now this is brighter now. Why? Because I'm not using some process, a uh, 15 year old uh, tone mapper called uh, Reinhardt. It's from Eric Reinhardt. He's the one that in invented this tone mapper. This was a pretty big deal back in 2002, but now it's not because we're not using 8 bit. We're using 10-bit panels, all right? This was superior to the SDR, and it was the first step into the HDR, honestly. But it was still considered uh, somewhat SDR because it was using an 8-bit, okay? But it was uh, it's a little bit more superior than the SDR. It was like an advanced version of the SDR. So, you guys can look this up. Um, you can look it up. You can look up uh, Eric Reinhardt. You can look up Reinhardt HDR tone mapping. You can learn about this. You can Google this. If I can Google it, you can Google it. You can search it. Uh, but this is old. It is free, and uh, anybody can use this. But it's 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 really not it's not the real HDR. Okay, it's it's, a, it's not the real tone mapper for the HDR 10. It's a tone mapper for the. Uh, 8-bit panels. In short, 
the Reinhardt HDR tone mapping it's designed for 8 bit it's not designed for 10 bit and that's why I noticed soon that's why I told John Crow that's why I messaged on Twitter um, Evil Boris and I told him the HDR is okay it's just not where it needs to be and I and I and I told him like the HDR is not here where it needs to be and I have my peak brightness and everything I tested on the Q8FN it just doesn't have that tone mapping and then he did some tests and he find out that uh, they're using an old technique uh, called Reinhardt based on the Eric Reinhardt tone mapping that uh, was good back then in 2002 it was good back then for the 8-bit and it was designed for the 8-bit televisions panels but we are with the 10-bit television panels and we need more peak brightness uh, we can use that value that they're using so anyway hopefully this answer some of the questions you know so you guys can uh, learn more about this you know and this was like the first step uh, what uh, Reinhard uh, did basically in, in that time in 2002 was the first panorama HDR was the first step into like testing the grounds to see what we can do in the future all right but right now, this uh, this tone mapping that they're using is just not good enough for today's television. We're in 2019. We already have uh, much better uh, panels. They can go up to 2,000 nits, uh, 1,600 nits, okay, and they're 10 bit. So this is why. I mean, I can use, actually, as a matter of fact, I can use this uh, Reinhardt tone mapping. I can use it here on this game. If I had the tool kit available to remaster uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, I can use that kind of a tone mapping. And you really wouldn't see any kind of drastic difference because that tone mapper was designed for the 8-bit, was not designed for the 10-bit. Because, because the 10-bit back then didn't exist. It was only 8-bit. They didn't even have sRGB. sRGB came later on. You know, they were like a really like a low peak brightness uh, with the eight bits back then. All right, well there you have it, guys. I just felt like making this uh, quick video just to let you know what's going on uh, with this, and um, it is what it is. Uh, Sekiro. People ask me about the Sekiro and how I feel about the game. I mean, I enjoy the game. Uh, I play the game. But, you know, we do have to uh, mention some of these things. Uh, because that's what we're into. We're geeks. We're TV geeks. We're TV HDR geeks, 4K geeks, whatever you want to call us. And we do like to go in the nitty and gritty and to find out what the problem is, what the issue is. Uh, and honestly, I, I, I could see it right away. As soon as I fired up uh, Sekiro on my PlayStation and my Xbox, I knew right away that something uh, something was off. And I, and I knew right away that it just wasn't where it needs to be. So, um, there you go, guys. Um, I hope you like this video. I'm just trying to bring you some info here. Again, I find this out from Evil Boris. He did some uh, tests. He did some digging. And uh, thanks to him, now we know what's going on. Now you got your answers as to why HDR is not that good. But please, don't let this uh, stop you from buying the game. The game is still a lot of fun. You know, uh, I enjoy it. And the game has great scores. If you like Dark Souls, you will like this. If you love Soul Weaver, you will like this. Uh, if you love uh, Blood Bloodborne, you will love this. Okay, but you'll just have to accept the fact that the HDR there. You should just turn it off. You know what? Turn off the HDR. Turn it off.
turn off the HDR on the uh, Sekiro. That's what I would do, honestly. If you got a very bright TV, if you have a very bright TV, uh, just turn it off, dude. You don't need it. Because actually, it's going to tone it down. It's not going to take advantage of the peak brightness if you use that HDR, the Reinhardt HDR. So just turn it off. That's what I would do. Well, there you have it. That's all I got for you guys. I'll catch you later with the Guns of the Patriots. Cheers.